Hello again, Mansville artists. Today we are going to start our newest winter lesson and we are gonna be learning all about these fun little creatures called gnomes. I did a little research on gnomes before I started and I discovered that gnomes are defined as legendary dwarfish creatures that are known to guard the earth's treasures. They also say that gnomes bring good luck. So after today's lesson, if you want to hang up your finished gnome project, perhaps it might give you a little bit of good luck. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to draw a gnome step by step using simple lines, shape, and color. I want you to gather your materials, we'll talk about those in a second, and follow along with me and we'll draw this gnome together. Throughout the lesson, I'm gonna tell you about some fun facts and legends and myths about gnomes and we'll have a lot of fun doing this. Let's get started. So the materials that you're going to need include a piece of white paper. You can use your sketchbook paper, you can use copy paper, or even construction paper, whatever you have around. You're gonna need a pencil to draw. It's optional, but I highly encourage you to use a Sharpie to trace your pencil drawing so that your drawing stands out and is nice and bold. And something to color with is your last material. You can use crayons. If you have them, you can use watercolors. Um, you could also use colored pencils, markers, whatever you have available. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our gnome's hat. Traditionally, male gnomes have big, long hats. Well, tall hats, not long hats. Let's start in the upper portion of our paper with a slightly bumpy line. During the video, if I'm going too fast or if you need to catch up, please go ahead and pause the video. Starting on the left side of that line, I want you to pull up a diagonal line that goes right up to the tippy top of your paper. Then start back up at the top and pull that line down so it connects to the bottom. Here's a fun fact about gnomes. They bring a lot of good luck and they're very gentle beings. They like to ensure that all living creatures remain unharmed. They're like the protectors of the earth. Starting under the hat, let's draw our gnome's nose. Our drawing's gonna be kind of fun and whimsical, and the gnome's hat and beard are so big that you're not even going to see the eyes or the mouth. It's just his big old nose sticking out. I think that's what makes it so fun. So there's my gnome's nose. Now I wanna make a big long beard. Starting right under here, go ahead and draw a jagged bumpy line that goes right down far and then comes right back up. We want this to look like hair. So instead of making a smooth line, I want you to use a bumpy jagged line so it gives it texture. That's an important art word. Texture means this, the way something feels or looks like it feels. So adding a couple lines here and there will make it look like hair. Notice that I left a little bit of room at the bottom of my paper. That's to save room for the body and the feet. While it may seem unexpected, gnomes are said to be nocturnal, sleeping during the day and carrying out their duties by night. This is why only a handful of humans have ever seen a real life gnome. Pull a line down, across, and up, and now you have your gnome's body. I saved a little bit of room for feet, and if you don't have a lot of room here, don't get discouraged. They can just go off the paper or be super teeny tiny. One foot here, and one foot here. Remember, it's always okay to ask for help from a grown-up or maybe even an older sibling. Let's draw our gnome's hands. We're gonna go ahead and use a circle shape, one here at the side, and another one here. Pull a line up to touch the body to create our gnome's arms. Last but not least, I want you to take this project one step further. To make your gnome look different from everybody else's, I want you to go ahead and add something special to your gnome's hat. Maybe a pattern or something like that. Let me show you some examples. For this one, I drew a little patch. You could also add a simple line pattern like I did here. I used a zigzag line to create these fun stripes. Or you 
you can just keep it simple and do regular stripes. You could do polka dots or draw a shape that you know or create a really detailed pattern. This one I kind of had fun with. You know I love rainbow, so I did rainbow paint drips. I think I'm just going to draw a little patch for this one. Add a landline so that your gnome isn't floating. And then you guys can get creative if you want to add something in the background or something fun like that. All right, the last step after you've drawn it and if you've traced it in Sharpie is to add color. If you're using watercolor paints, just remember that when they sit, they become dry. You have to wake it up with a little bit of water. Tickle that paint. And then if you want to paint your picture, you absolutely can. My friends, I hope you have fun with this. I hope you hang up your beautiful art so that it fills your house with good luck and a little bit of a happy spirit. Make sure that when you are done with your project, you have a grown up help you take a photo of it so that it can be sent to me. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to add a little bit of skin tone to my gnome's nose and his hands. You don't have to use peach. You can use a different skin tone if you want. There's lots of different skin tones out there. Traditionally, gnomes' beards are white, but if you want to make a gray beard, a brown beard, whatever you want to do is perfectly okay. Again, remember, send me a photo of your finished artwork so that I can see it and give you credit for your artwork. All right, my friends, I hope you have fun with this project. Hope everyone's doing well, and I will see you soon. Bye.